Hi, this is Sarah Abrams, Executive Editor of Rave Publications, and I'm here today in the very busy Crestron booth on at the ISE 2018, day three. Um, I'm here with Rob Carter. How are you today, Rob? I'm doing great. All right, so what's your title at, at Crestron? I'm the Technology Manager for Digital Media. Okay, great. Um, Rob is an expert in all things networks, so we're going to talk a little bit about networks today, one gig networks versus 10 gig networks, and some of the advantages and disadvantages of both. So uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about the two network types? Sure, sure, sure. I don't know if I'd consider myself a knowledgeable all things networks, <laughs> but certainly when it comes to, to video distribution. Um, absolutely. So really, one of the things that we've been hearing about on the show floor is that in order to have a converged network, you really need a 10 gig network to be able to get the right video quality and latency to be able to, to have a functional system. The point of what we're doing here today is showing how with NVX on a single gigabit network that you don't have to have these quality or latency issues. We have excellent quality, we have no latency, which we're demonstrating here, and um, don't have to deal with all the hassles, the cost of a 10 gigabit network infrastructure. Okay, when you say 10, 10 gigabit versus one gigabit, are you talking about a dedicated one gigabit network or like someone's existing network? Sure, you can deploy it either way. There are people that are going to be very comfortable with this stuff living on their network, and that's the dream for a lot of people is to have the converged network, with, uh, with uh, which really only works with a single gigabit uh, solution, because that's the networks that, that exist. Um, however, separate networks, you can do that as well if people want to separate that out. Okay, but are there any sacrifices that have to be made in that regard with 10 gig versus one gig? Oh, absolutely. I mean, if you're looking at a 10 gig network versus a one gig network, not only are the switches more expensive, not only do you have to run new cabling, because the Cat 5e that's in your walls isn't going to handle that, if you've got to get video out of that switch, you immediately run into um, bandwidth uh, issues on the uh, uh, bottleneck, uh, bottlenecks on the uplinks, um, and just kind of as a as a sense of how much people don't really want to move to 10 gig, we're seeing for the first time now that Ethernet standards are actually moving backwards. We see two and a half and five gig as a thing that's starting to creep out there into the world because people don't want to be running 10 gig outside of the core uh, where they're where they're uh, you know in the IT closet. So what are the integrators asking you about, telling you as they move to network-based AV? Well, right now, there's a lot of uh, a lot of people that there's a lot of interest in this. I mean, we've seen actually recently. It's kind of amazing. In the last 60 days or so, we've sold five times as many devices as we had since product launch. So it's you mean of, of NVX or of DM NVX. or of, in, of, in, of in, okay. NVX, yeah. Um, so it's kind of like we've hit this inflection point mm -hmm. where people get it. There's people were concerned for a little while. There's lots of yeah. solutions out there on the market. Yeah, talk of convergence for years, but finally, exactly, it's, we're yeah. finally there. I'd say we're past there, and people now understand that, and the adoption has been amazing. Okay. Um, so the main product we're also talking about here today is NVX. So why don't you give me a little overview of what that is? Sure. NVX, for those of you who are familiar with digital media, the idea here is NVX is DM, but on the network. So everything that we learned from video distribution, from making DM for the last decade, we brought to NVX. The important thing there was getting it onto a gigabit Ethernet network, because honestly, if you're at 10 gig, doesn't really have that many advantages over HD based T, and we have that, so great. Um, but uh, the point is that we didn't want to sacrifice any quality, we didn't want to sacrifice any latency, so those were our design goals when making NVX. And here in the booth, you can see that. Okay, but what about compression? Because obviously, you can just fit sure. more stuff on a 10 gig network, and the people who are doing the 10 gig products are saying you need it, so how do you respond to that? Honestly, that's part of the demo here. As what we're really doing is showing people with real world video images, spreadsheets, things like this that you're actually using that you don't need, or sorry, that you don't need 10 gigs. The, keep in mind too that even on 10 gigs, with 4K60, 444, video resolution are just, the bandwidth is getting insane. So 18 gigs is a 4K60, four stream. So anything on the market, even 10 gig, does have compression, exactly. So um, it's not like we can get away from compression, it's the future. And what we're seeing here is it's not something we need to be afraid of. It's something that if you do it right, can look really good. Now, there are other solutions on the market right now for one gig that did make some trade-offs with quality. They made some trade-offs with latency. So we've seen some people that have been, they're kind of skittish and scared off of one gig right now. And we're trying to make people feel more comfortable with that and realize that you only need one gig for uh, so what's latency. different about your one gig products versus the other one gig ones that are making the integrators skittish? Well, honestly, I can't tell you what they're doing. All I can tell you is is uh, is is the output, right? What we've heard from the integrators, what we're see actually, and what we can even show here is the video quality issues, the latency issues, and so any kind of interactive latency comes into play with um, 
uh, interactive content, using a mouse and a keyboard, et cetera, you want that to react immediately. You don't want any kind of delay uh, between when you move your mouse and when it, uh, when it moves on the screen. And so we see that, and we're demonstrating here, that with other one gig solutions, that is a problem. And that's muddying the water somewhat, where people say like, oh, maybe you do need 10 gig for this level of quality. But with NVX, you don't. So how are you showing um, the shootout here? Like what, what, what an integrator who came by here look for in the shootout to sure. see the difference? Sure. Well, one of the, one of the, actually the one we're standing in front of right now is our latency demo. So in the middle here, we've got our HD base T solution, which everybody's been using for years, gold standard really, if I could say so, in the industry uh, for video distribution. People are comfortable with it. That's the point. Um, DMNVX is the new product we're talking about here, gigabit network um, uh, encoders and decoders. And you can see here, we've got the clock running. If you take a picture, they'll both be dead on. And so we're encouraging people, you can see, take a picture with your phone, you can hit pause on the video as you guys are watching at home, and you'll see the clock numbers are the same. Now to that point I made before about other things on the market and one gig being problematic and scaring people off, we've got some competitive product here as well that adds a lot of latency. Um, and before we started the interview, you were telling me a few things about uh, differences between one gig networks and 10 gig networks, and you mentioned security. Yes. Can you tell me a bit about that as well? Sure, sure, sure. That's And that's less about one gig versus 10 gig, but it is very important. Oh, actually, you know what? I take that back, because really for the Converge network, you're really you're, you're talking about one gig at that point. Regardless, to be on an enterprise network, which is really you know, a big chunk of the, of the market here, education as well. They're requiring security features like 802.1x. You need your, all your interfaces uh, authenticated and encrypted. Um, Active Directory uh, is commonly used for password management, so that, uh, that integration is important. The point is, when we design this product, and it's really not just NVX, it's our control systems, touch panels, everything, we're designing these to be IT devices that happen to function with AV, as opposed to being AV devices where we just tacked on Ethernet um, security later. Um, but are you still going through the AV integrators, and or are you also going through IT integrators now as well? Uh, I mean, look, in general, we're, we're seeing AV integrators are still absolutely, absolutely involved here. The thing is, it's the IT departments that they're selling to that are really driving these requirements. Yeah, they're the ones asking for it and yeah. talking about that's, the security issues. Right. Okay. Well, thanks so much, Rob. I really appreciate you giving me this overview here today. Um, you'll be able to see all Crestron's products by searching for Crestron in our search box on the website. So be sure to stop by if you're still at ISE 2018. Thank you so much.